Never Stop Learning, week 157. I'm gonna show you my updated workflow for the new pencil tool available in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014. So here I've got some artwork laid out that I actually wanna trace using the pencil tool. So to activate the pencil tool, I just have to come over here to the tools panel and click on pencil tool and it's ready to go. There's also a hot key for that. If I hit N on my keyboard, it'll activate the tool for me. Now, before I start drawing, I wanna make sure that my pencil tool options are set properly. So I'll come back over here to the tools panel and double click on pencil tool. Now, before I get started in here, I'm gonna hit reset and that brings everything back to the default settings. In this top section right here, this deals with fidelity. If I bring the slider all the way towards the left, you see it's gonna be more accurate when I draw out. So that means I might end up with more jagged edges and a lot more anchor points. If I click and drag all the way towards the right, it's gonna smooth things out for me and I'm gonna have a lot less anchor points, but I'm not gonna have the accuracy that I might get over on this side of the slider. So I'll leave it right here in the center so you can see what's going on there. Next we have options. Right here we have a, diff a bunch of different options we could use. The first one is fill new pencil strokes. I'm gonna leave this box unchecked because I don't wanna deal with any fills or strokes at the moment. Next we have keep selected. This is gonna work great for my workflow, especially because I'm gonna be editing the selected paths and you'll see how that comes into play later on. Next we have option key toggles to smooth tool. Now this option was introduced in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014. If I were to check this box and I'm drawing along, anytime I hit option, it's gonna activate the smooth tool. Because I have this box unchecked, as I'm drawing along, if I were to hit the option key, it's actually gonna give me a straight segment and I'll show you that as well. All right, so right here we have edit, edit selected paths within six pixels. So if you're finding you're not able to edit your paths as quickly as you'd like, just increase this threshold and you'll see that uh, you'll be able to speed up your workflow a little bit that way. But if you find you have a lot of paths on here, you actually might wanna bring this back down a bit. So just play around with this slider and leave it wherever suits you best. I'm gonna hit reset to make sure everything is back to default and I'll click okay so I could start drawing. So all I wanna do is zoom in a little bit on my artwork so I could see things a little bit more clearly and I could just come in here and start drawing out. So I'm using a Wacom tablet right now so I'm able to just click and drag uh, with really smooth strokes. It's uh, pretty much like I'm drawing on paper. It's great. So now that I get down to this section, this looks like a pretty straight segment here. So what I want to do is click and drag and then hold down the Alter Option key. That gives me this straight segment that we were talking about earlier. And I just want to drop it off right here and then I'll release. So you see I have this segment going on here and then it gets straight and then I finish it off here. Well, I could just click and drag and continue to edit my path this way. So you see this is a lot more fun drawing things out this way. So I never really knew you, you could draw like this with vectors. Well, I'm gonna come along this way and because I have a lot of these uh, smooth corners going along here, I'm gonna hit enter return on my keyboard while I'm in the pencil tool so I can make some edits right here to this fidelity section. I'd actually like to bring this over to the smoother side and that's gonna smooth things up a little bit for me. All right, I'll come along here, bring it along this way. This looks a lot better. All right, great. I'll bring it up this way. And if you don't mind, I'm just gonna finish off this um, this little shape I got going on here so you can see my entire workflow. All right, great, we'll just continue up this way. And I like that I could choose whichever side of this path that I wanna edit. I could just continue on this way and even close off this path. All right, so now that I have this closed path. Uh, let me see, I'll come back over here, start just redrawing sections that kind of bug me a little bit, whatever just doesn't look right. Sometimes I like to hit enter return on my keyboard and bring the smoothness all the way up and just start refining some of these sections. So I'll come on along here and just bring this guy up that way. That looks good. And actually this looks pretty good already. So there you have it folks. That's my updated workflow for using the pencil tool in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014.